Who doesn't want a typewriter? I do. Okay, I'm on a mission. Remember that, Julie. You're just here to find wool lights. I came, I saw, I conquered what I was looking for. So these are gonna go on either side of the mirror in the bathroom. And there's so much detail that goes into, well, into any renovation really. But for example, we've decided that we're gonna paint now before we put the floors in. Caldo on the left and right yes and then freddo on the right good morning i'm in my cafe local cafe there's a couple here but barrici and i'm going to turn the camera around in a second so you can see my favorite drink that i have my favorite hot beverage that i have every single day but it's a glorious day here in Fivizano and I have a lot to do especially to do with my doors so I'm going to see Stefano the carpenter and he hopefully is going to hand me um well he will uh my doors for the first floor this is my absolutely favorite thing to do is to get a double espresso and pour hot water above it or on top of it I should say <laughs> above and on top and this is my view today here in Fivizano so it's just spectacular. My house is just beyond there. Well, actually, kind of there, I should say. Hi, everybody. I am here in Verrucola. I'm on my way to see Matteo, who's going to be doing, well, hopefully making my four doors for upstairs. But this is literally a 15 minute walk from Fivizano. It's absolutely stunning. Well, it's a beautiful day today, but also the castle right there. There's a restaurant down there that I'm dying to go and, uh, and eat at, but this is a beautiful, extraordinary sort of a hilltop town. And um, yeah, and Stefano's just, uh, sorry, Matteo uh, is around the corner. So Matteo is around the corner and I will be visiting Mateo very soon to look at doors. I need four doors for upstairs, but how pretty is it here? Oh my goodness. Wow. This is incredible. This is his workspace. Make my doors, possibly windows. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. We're on a mission to find lights today. I have bought from here before. So if you remember, I've bought some chairs from here. I bought my mirror here that's gonna go in my bathroom. So I'm looking for the two lights to go either side of the mirror in the bathroom from that vanity that I had restored. Here we go. Oh my goodness, incredible. This is lovely here. This sort of chest of drawers, well, vanity really. That's what I'm gonna call it. But it's incredible. I think sometimes you can find better objects at flea markets rather than going to sort of antique fairs. Um, at least that's what I'm discovering. Like, look at this. Who doesn't want a typewriter? I do. Okay, I'm on a mission. Remember that, Julie. You're just here to find wool lights. But it's hard not to look at everything else that they have here. Speaking of lights, wow. So I am also looking for a big bathroom light as well. These are incredible. Oh my goodness. So I'm inside now and actually this is the flea market where I found my mirror for, um, in fact, in this pile right here on the mirror that I'll be using in my bathroom. And again, the goal here is, I think I got the best one. I'm so happy. The goal here though is of course, to remove everything, to find some wall lights. So I'm very excited because I came, I saw, I conquered what I was looking for. So these are gonna go on either side of the mirror in the bathroom and I wanted something um, obviously vintage antique to kind of go with the mirror that I found here actually, the Murano mirror, the Murano glass mirror 
it's gonna look perfect. And especially with that vanity, I had those, um, the fixtures, you know, the handles on the vanity are gonna look quite well with this as well. So another hugely successful day here. Oh, here, I can show you where I'm at. The sign behind me. There we go. Massive successful day. I came what I was looking for. And I'm gonna show you how this is all gonna look as well. One of the reasons that I actually chose this house is because of the view from the terrace. So you can see the spire of the church. You've heard the bells before. Um, it's spectacular and it's actually a rather big terrace to be perfectly honest. So I'll give you a little tour around. But it's so good when I come here, even if it's for just like a few days because there's so much detail that goes into well, into any renovation really. But for example, we've decided that we're gonna paint now before we put the floors in. Um, we know that the painting's gonna be happening in about uh, two weeks time. Paint colors have been chosen. Now I, I met with Matteo to look at the doors. Um, there's a photo of the door that um, I liked and then one that's quite similar. The question now is, do we paint the doors or do we keep them as um, ligno, which is wood? Um, so I've got to make that decision. But I'm also going to be looking at the fixtures that go on the doors. And um, gosh, what else? Yes. And oh, I found my lights uh, today. So the little lights on either side of the mirror in the bathroom. I'm also going to go to the flea markets and look for like a towel rail. So a good towel rail and even like uh, a um uh just some accessories for the bathroom so a soap holder but i want to find i want to try to find as much um bits and accessories that i can that are from the flea markets rather than having to buy new or having things um made um so i've got to obviously look at the price <laughs> so the nice thing about the flea markets is they are over here at least um you can find some real deals so um, yeah, so I'm just about to uh, sit down just for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna turn this around and show you my spot and I'm gonna actually have a beer. That bench is just waiting for me <laughs> to come and sit on it, to have a beer, to enjoy the sunshine in febrile. It's actually warm today. So I'm gonna sit there, have a beer, and I think the bells are just about to play. So here we are in the master bedroom. They are just getting some work done in there as far as the skirting board is stripping all of that. We head down the hallway and this is the second bedroom. And again, skirting board removed, patches to the ceilings and the walls where it needed a little bit of work there and heading down the hall to really where the big work is happening. So lots of dust here, lots going on because there's lots of drilling for the new pipes. Here is really the small, uh, I like to say sort of small utility room where a loo will be as well as a sink, but we've created this wall. So behind this wall is actually where the new shower will be. This space is really just for storage. We'll put some shelving there as well as the washing machine. So the washing machine will go down there and they've really sketched out where they need some electricity as well as where some of the pipes will go. But of course the big project is in here, lots of mess, lots of dust, uh, and I can't wait for you all to see what this pretty big bathroom is gonna look like. The boxes have arrived of all of really um, bathroom and shower fixtures. I won't be able to open all of them, but um, look at this. This just makes me so happy. Look at how beautiful these are. Look at, and it's from Florence, so hopefully you can get, see here, Firenze. And they're just absolutely stunning. I decided to go for chrome. There were other uh, finishes that I could have gone through for, like brass, copper, but I just decided to go for chrome. But you can see, absolutely beautiful. And they've really tidied up my kitchen here. It looks much better than when I last left it. So I'm here, there's still so much to do. 
spot, you can see my file right there on the left. This is obviously going into the bathroom. This is the finished piece, so it's absolutely beautiful what they've done. This is the vanity, if you like, and the sink on top. And we've just had to do some measuring here of, uh, well, some measuring as you can see, but it's gonna look beautiful in the bathroom. Oh, coming very soon. There is a lovely pause right now in the construction. <laughs> there was a jackhammer the other day, lots going on, and I'm gonna show you the upstairs in a minute because I have to do lots of measuring. So lots of measuring for this piece in particular. So I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about this piece so you can see it up close and personal. This was the piece that's going to be the vanity in the bathroom that I found in a flea market near to Fivizano in Sarzana. And I found it in one of their back rooms. We then decided on what to paint it. We decided new fixtures here. So these are all lovely sort of antique brass fixtures. Love them. Uh, then of course the antique marble was picked and put on. And I kept these lovely features on the outside on either side. Um, I just thought they were beautiful features and they were original and we just had to really cut sort of the ends um, just a tiny bit. So pretty much fit perfectly. Then as far as the sink goes, I decided to go for a modern sink on top of the old, sort of mixing modern and new in this house. Uh, modern, with the, modern and new with, of course, the antique and vintage that I can find. So I found this lovely, it's a rectangle si sink. I still have the, um, uh, the protective wear on it. I'm not going to take that off until we actually dig the hole through the marble where the pipes will go. So speaking of the pipes, when we uh, constructed this um, and had it uh, finished, we also had to make sure that the pipes could fit through. So the drawers had to be slightly made more narrow here. So they're more narrow, the width is slightly less, but I think that's completely fine. It's still a nice sized drawer so that the pipes can fit down there. They open perfectly, they've been painted beautifully um, by PG at the flea market. And then on the inside, this is where I can put uh, towels and anything else that I want to put in. So I'm super happy with the vanity that was created. I like the sink that uh, Malcolm and I picked out. So um, if you don't know Malcolm, um, he probably won't appear on my YouTube channel, but he has been really um, instrumental in helping me with this house. He also has done uh, pretty much a lot of the restoration and um, decoration and designing, interior designing. That's what he is, an interior designer at Mapperton. So if you do watch our Mapperton Live channel, we just had a recent video on basically five years of restoring the nation's finest manor house and Malcolm was instrumental in that. So he's kindly helping me with my Picula Casa here. So this is the vanity, and then what we wanted to do was we wanted to find obviously two wall lights on either side. And I need to go up and measure this, so I'll show you the measurements, lots of measurements that need to be uh, taken, and Malcolm has really helped me with that. And we were looking at lights, and they were expensive, and what I'm really trying to find is a mixture of sort of vintage when I can, and then of course if I need to purchase something new like the sink, then I will. But I found these yesterday in the flea market, and I think they're absolutely sort of fantastic. And on here it says prezzo e euro 40, and it, so it was 40 euros, and I said, can you give me your best price? And they gave me the pair for 30 euros. So I was able to get this pair for 30 euros. Then there were baskets of sort of lampshades, if you like. And I was thinking, well, I'll put the light bulb here and put a fabric lampshade. But then I came across these beautiful glass with a little bit of touch of that sort of brass gold right there to match not only the uh, wall light here, the base of the wall light, but of course it brings out uh, the brass handles. And when I show you my mirror, uh, it looks really, uh, <laughs> looks fantastic as well. Just a little close up. Obviously, this is not where the light is going to go, but I thought it was quite pretty to do a little video here. 16 euros in total for this light that's gonna go in my bathroom, two of them. 
on either side of the mirror. Love it. I've just given this one a clean and you can compare it to this one, which hasn't been cleaned yet. You can you believe that one euro? They're gonna be perfect on the lights. But you can see how much, I mean, it's beautiful. The top, that one obviously needs to be cleaned, but I wanted to give you a before and after. just done the measuring as you saw and it's quite a process um, there's a lot of scribbling over this so I will have to explain this to Enya the builder tomorrow um, in Italian <laughs> and how it's all going to work but from here basically is the height of the vanity and then with the lavandino the sink on top it goes to 98 centimeters. So the sink, the top of the sink is here. So that's a pretty easy measurement. But then the question is where to put the taps. And we're gonna, we decided to put the taps about 10 centimeters above where the sink is. Here's my center point. So I've been able to measure the center point. So the Rubinetti will go into the center point. And these are, I'm just so excited about these. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Um, so this is, again, going to come out right here in the center and the sink will just be, let's see, yeah, perfect, a little bit below that. That is the height of the sink, remember, so the base is just a bit above the 84 centimeters. So it works out actually uh, quite nicely right there. So I'm really, really pleased about that. and. The taps are magnificent. So you have your caldo, so it'll be in the same line as the Rubinetti. You've got uh, caldo here. These are from Ricardo Bartel. I absolutely love them. Caldo on the left, and is that right? Yes. <laughs> and then Freddo on the right. So then from there, you've got, as you know, we're doing a line of paint, painting one color from a certain level down and then a white color up and throughout the ceilings. So the question was really the line of paint and I had to do this for the other bedrooms as well but they were much easier. It was just pretty much one measurement. But for the bathroom, we're gonna take it up to 120 centimeters. So from the floor up to 120 centimeters it will be that lovely sort of moss, light moss green color in that lime wash antico finish. So that will be here and then the rest will be white. Then of course, there's the question of the mirror. So I already knew the measurements of the mirror and we, the top of the mirror is gonna go right there where I've put a line and perfect. And then basically right down below, five centimeters above the line of paint is where the um, base of the mirror is. So if I look at this now, this is kind of perfect for me. So this is absolutely perfect for me. It works out really well and I'm really pleased with that. Um, so yes, so that is that and I put that there. I'm gonna put that to the one side and then I'm gonna show you the lights. So I'm going to show you the lights and the lights, again, I've had to measure. This is where the old lights used to be, but we're gonna bring them down a little bit. So we're gonna bring them down the same spot, but we are going to, hold on, I've gotta think about this. Yes, so we're gonna bring them down to here. As Malcolm said, the light itself needs to be to about my eye line, I'm kind of average height. So we determined that if the light was there, here's the light, I take my eye line across here and it's basically about to there. And that's pretty much the middle of the light. So the light will go there. And then of course you've got 
the mirror, and yes, oh, and then of course I've cleaned these and they look brilliant. So imagine light here and then with the light and resting on top is rather perfect if I do say so myself. I think this is absolutely perfect. One on either side, mirror in the middle, and a couple other things that I found in my flea market shopping. This was, I think, three euro. So this will be uh, obviously a magazine rack. I might have it in the bathroom. It's so sweet, it closes up like this. But I thought, you know, for your reading pleasure, have a magazine rack in the bathroom. And I also found these at the Fivizano Antique Market, which happens uh, one Sunday of the month. I can't remember which Sunday, but I happened to be here one time. I mean, I have to, I think it, this one, a little bit cleaned and repaired, same with these, but I think it will look great with the color, the green color that we're using, and place these, I don't know, over the bath or on the wall over there. I haven't quite yet decided, um, but it's even, this one's even signed in the back and I suspect if I take off the paper here which I won't this one would be signed as well so I just thought these would be lovely uh, to have in here as well and again I found these for 10 euros each so bathroom is coming along everything's coming along but in Italy the one thing that it's really teaching me is patience and lots of people told me that beforehand <laughs> when you come to Italy you have to have patience and they are absolutely right. So that is where we're at. Painting starts soon and I will definitely get that uh, filmed for you as well. But I am really excited and it's just been a dream come true working on this project. And the builder just sent me a little bit of footage to show me more what's happening after I left. So right here, the partial wall above the shower is being constructed. You can see the frame there. And of course, a little bit of drilling there to make sure that frame stays up. There's lots of plumbing, brand new plumbing because we're creating a brand new loo area if you like, and of course a new shower. But I can finally reveal that that partial wall above the shower has been completed. All that's needed now is a little bit of paint. Finally, the beautiful flooring that I chose for the first floor has arrived. And again, I will be revealing this very soon on my next visit in a couple weeks time. But until then, I just wanna say a huge thank you to all of the American Viscountess patrons. Your support means so much and it helps really to support the production and edit of these videos. If you're interested in becoming a patron, head to patreon.com forward slash American Viscountess.